Welcome back to our channel. In this week's video, I finish up a few things we had left with the roof. Also, I work on reinstalling the antenna and run into some issues. And I show you a tip on how to easily install the trim molding that covers the screw hose. And then we work on troubleshooting our slide out to see what the problem is with it. And we start the process of remodeling the bathroom. So stick around. Got off work, so I only have about an hour or two of daylight. I think this is the one I need. TV antenna. It goes to this plug, which handles your TV antenna. This middle one here is your park plug, and this is your TV jack. I guess that goes to the other TV. I guess somewhere. But this goes to the park. You hook up to the park. That powers it, and then this is your TV antenna. So. Pretty complicated little board there for such a little thing. But plus it has a 12 volt cigarette lighter charger. So I'm hoping I can pull this all the way up to the top. So we're getting ready to find out here in a minute. So there's the hole where the wire goes down. I don't, I don't want to cut any bigger than I have to. Blade that thing. One thing about pulling this through that's got me concerned is everything down there is a black wire. 
and nothing white wire. So I'm gonna hook to it and see how it acts. We may have to do some tearing into some walls. And that right there is where the uh, arm goes through, the control arm. Thing. I was trying to remember to see the roof slant. I think it goes like this. That keeps it level with the way the roof slants. I think, I think if you went this away, the roof slant and everything else, I think it would turn it too much. So, pretty sure. goes like that. I probably should have unrolled that earlier with didn't have all that kink in it. Go there and give it a pull and you can see what it looks like from up here. I wish I could, but anyhow, we'll see how it acts. I'm gonna drill me an access hole, hopefully, right here, sort of below it, and then may drill an oven back there. Let me get a light too so I can see. wondered what the back of your radio and stuff looks like. There you go. Oh look, here's a fuse. I guess if that had blowed, you'd have looked for that forever. Some inputs. Could have hooked up some speakers. Some crazy stuff here. Oh man. Actually looks like that's going down. Wow. Interesting. Really interesting. This may be more of a challenge than I thought. Wow. Let me go under the trailer look and see if I see it come out down there. So I'm under the trailer. Yeah, more dirt daubers. This thing's probably got 100 pounds of dirt daubers. Well, I'm sort of impressed. The under the trailer is sealed up really good and I sure hate to bust that seal. Uh, yeah, let me, uh, let me think about my options. I don't know if I want to tackle that. We may live with what we got. All right, guys, as you've seen underneath the trailer's pretty well sealed up. I really don't want to mess with that unless I have to. And I don't think that's worth the trouble just to run a new antenna wire. I would love to, and I already have that power installed, but I'm open for suggestions if somebody's ever done this on how to get that wire down to there. Because now if I want to do any wall cutting or anything, it's now this time to do it. Uh, may have to remove this window and just reseal it around them. I'm thinking about doing all the windows. Probably will. I think I definitely will reseal around that window. But uh, that's... Uh, I don't know how to run it from there because it goes underneath the trailer. So I think I'll wait. I may install it and just tap into what's there. I think I'll be my best bet.
check, make sure my dial, the turner knob fits. All right, so it fit. <laughs> yeah, you see what I did wrong there, don't you? Crap. Third time's a charm. I put them on with the vent open when I got ready to close it. It's hitting on the end. So I've got to slide them forwards a little bit. Hopefully that won't be a big task. So that's how much butyl I got off that one rail, or I shouldn't say butyl, putty tape, I think is what they actually call it. I'm going to add this to my collection. Somewhere I got a collection of it. Oh, right there. I'm going to sculpt that into something pretty for the wife and give it to her for a uh, birthday. There we go, look at that. a lot of putty tape that's just from the molding on this one side Alright guys, I just got off of work and I came in here and did a quick little couple of things. I um, got my wires ran. We're going to have two little lights above the bed up here. And then we're going to have some USB charging ports beside the bed. So I've got those wires ran. And I put in my first piece of insulation to test to see how it's going to work out. If it's too thick or whatever. So I'm going to go with this insulation. And uh, so my bed will go here. And there'll be a little about a foot on each side maybe something like that and we're trying to find a little tables we may end up having to make them with little drawers a little we may put baskets or something in them for storage on each side and then there'll be a shelf that runs across here and we're not going to build those big boxes back i don't think at this time so that's what we're working on that and then what else i did today was 
my molding came in my trim it was a little different than what was in there originally this is what it is it was really flat but I was a little concerned about it. I really like it it uh it's in all across there which I got some video hopefully it's good enough I can post it to there Oh, look at that. Ants, ants, ants. So I think it goes like this right here. So what I'm going to do is... Really We gotta get rid of the ants. All right, this is a technique I learned years ago when I was building campers. <laughs> Wet your fingers, it goes right in. Do what? Wet your fingers with some soapy water and uh, I need to come back and cock. I'm gonna beat a cock down that. guys I got a question for you twice now this slide has come in on its own has anybody ever heard of that and how you fix it so every night before I go in now I have to make sure the walkway is clear so we have to keep it so that could be a problem. Uh, I don't know why it's doing that. I would hope it wouldn't come out going down the road, but uh, I want to put a disconnect or find what the problem is. I don't know if it's a bad switch, but see like now I don't want to come in. Interesting. So yeah, don't know what's going on with that. Alright guys, we've had an issue with the slide coming in by itself. It happened twice. First time I thought it maybe I accidentally hit it. But, uh, so, I don't think I did that. I thought I was losing my mind. But, I'm going to take this switch off, check it, see if uh, maybe it's a problem. It acts, it acts like it doesn't want to work sometimes. So it don't want to come in now. If I wiggle it enough, it'll come in. So check this switch and see if that's my problem 
I hope that's all it is. Now let me get a different screwdriver. That don't fit it. Fried screwdriver. Yes, it makes a big difference. Alright. What we got here? We got three wires. I guess one's power one way and one's power the other way. Looking at the front of the switch, blue is to the right, white is in the middle, red is to the left. From the back, you're going to have right the opposite. So, this is in, that's out, in, out, red is out. Yep, red is out. So, we're going to unhook this thing. Now I said we're going to unhook it. It's sticking there good. So it was hooked to that one. The white one went to the middle. Red, blue. Oh, you still got to shoot pretty bow on. You're pretty bold. Right, so I'm guessing this one's your power. Yeah, I've seen he had his pretty little bow on. Get that one in there. We'll stick that in there. All right, so nothing that way. And that was out. I'm not getting anything. Yeah, there's the problem right there. See, I'm not even pushing the switch and it's on. So that's the problem. It's a bad switch. Because it's probably pushed in and sort of hanging. And coming, see, here. Just a slight bump like that, watch. Just a slight bump. All right, so we need a new switch. Good deal. Glass not something major. Drill those out. 
try one more thing. One more option. Not coming out. Need a rubber band. Yep. Need a rubber band. Or I can drill them. all that section so they'll return it like I was hoping. Alright, see what we got. Nice and nasty. All kinds of critters. Well oh, look at that. Look at that. That's scary. Alright, I'm gonna cut this. I don't know about this, but here it goes. It's still wrong. Boom it's cut. Now, we can play with the color and see where we want to put it. Check all those up. Let me save that because I need it. What's happening? All right, let me have that till now. Right. Now we got to find the pine, prime pooping position, the three piece. So, the wall is going to be right there. Move. I'm gonna just cut this and pull it out so we can get our let me go look at it. Alright, I'm going back down to see what we got down there. Beautiful. Beautiful. Alright. Now we can play around and see. This guy. Oh, that was the power from the sink. Yeah. All right. So the wall is going to be right there. 
I put that right there. Woo. I can spread out. If I put it like this, move a little bit. There's the wall. That's not bad either. Sink comes right across here probably. That's not bad. Like that. that might hit your knee. Man, that's perfect. I think that right there will work. I think that's where I want to go with it. 